Show me them toys. <laughs> Show me them toys. Hello, everybody, and good morning. Jordan Gasly here. It is March 18th, and it is Toy Lanta weekend. I've been very excited, looking forward to this convention for months now, and it's finally here. I'm also joined by Toy Hunt buddy Richard and Kevin. So, guys, are you ready? Oh yeah. You don't sound excited. <laughs> Kevin yeah. Kevin sounds very enthusiastic. <laughs> what are you looking early for? Morning. What's that? Early morning. It is an early morning. Yes, it's still late. Uh, I need more coffee. <laughs> so, uh, what are you looking for, Richard? Anything specific that you're hoping to find? Uh, I'm looking to just kind of fill some gaps in my collection. Some uh, Mummies Alive, uh, Monster Force. Some uh, deep cuts. Oh yeah. Like, uh, I'm only missing a few figures in those lines. Um, some more modern stuff, like looking for some Mezcos. Mezcos, yeah, yeah. Kevin, what are you looking for? This is your first Toy Lanta. This is my yep. first Toy Lanta. I'm uh, looking for some uh, DC Farless stuff. Uh, maybe try out some Black Series. Oh. And maybe try to see some vintage Toy Soldier action. Some G.I. Joes, maybe some other stuff. All right. That sounds like a plan. I am looking for some Mythic Legions, uh, and we'll see. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't go into these things with an agenda, just because you can find anything, as you will see as I take you around the convention floor. Let's go. Hopping in that registration line. All right, well, poor Kevin. He didn't get early access. We got early access because we got the weekend weekend pass. So we're going to meet up with Kevin here shortly, but we're walking in the showroom now. So we're going to walk around and see what we can see. Right under the Ghostbusters line of vintage turtles. Check this out. You don't see this every day. The Universal Monster Turtles. I wouldn't mind owning these, but man, I... I do not have that kind of money. But that, those are awesome. Oh my gosh, is that a big dub? Oh, look at that! Can I get a Can I get a classic squeeze it over here? Squeeze it! I love it. Oh my gosh. I. Oh, oh. But I, I mean, I, I will. But I need money first. So. Uh, you will not be gaining money in these two rooms with the Mega Legions. But you will be at least virtually spending money. Buddy, I've already spent like a thousand bucks. I don't have money. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Is this, I'm following you. Is this the room? This is the room? Oh my god, here we go. What are we doing? Oh my lord. Look at that fantastic hatbox ghost. Mythic Legion custom. I do need it. Do you need no man? Listen, I just walked in the room. <laughs> what are you doing to me, man? Let's see what we got here. Black card. Man. Oh yeah. Some turtle customs over here. That Krang is fantastic. Look at that. The Shredder and the Casey Jones. Ooh, I do like the jack o' lantern head right here. Those are for sale. Are they? Nice. I, uh, I'm almost afraid to ask. How much is this guy right here? One fifty. One fifty. Man, that looks good. Oh. Yeah, that's my nice. I want. I'm yeah, gonna get, get, get the shadow aqua draw. Yeah. So it's fly. Did that too? No. no the the head. Yeah, these go to one point out. Does this go? Does that? Does that? Does, that, does it replace the torso? Or go over the top of what he has. So the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I can just get that jack o' lantern head because I feel like that would be that would be one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Some more mythic legions. Oh man, look at that giant Cthulhu in the background. Oh, I like this guy. He's got a nice skull beard. Man, these all look fantastic. You're very welcome. You guys collect Legions too? Cabal. I'm very new to the line. Really? Well, I found my first purchase. So, and then uh, Dub's over there recording some more stuff. 
Woo. A rock steady super sent. Oh yeah. man, I can't. I can't not take that. I hope the dude can break uh, a hundo. I got change. Cool. All right. Cool. I appreciate it. But look at all of this fantastic. Ah, oh, the Papa Emeritus. Mm -hmm. Raphael, the Splinter. Cardona. Look at the oh, Toxy. It's fantastic. So, when you get it in the sun, yeah, he turns like a re a violent red color. A violent red color. A nice crimson toxic crusader. Yeah. Uh, I found this computer warrior toy. I used to have one of these bad boys. I used to have that one right there. But these, man, this was a very short-lived toy line. Are you gonna buy it, Kevin? No, I've no idea they are. Okay. Well, it's a toy. I would imagine. Okay. Are you recording? What? Are you recording? I can't hear you. I'm recording. Okay, hi. Hi. It's that Jordan Gasly guy. Where? <laughs> Who that? <laughs> Check out this giant attorney. Oh my god, look at that US flag. That is insane. I didn't even see the flag at first because I was too busy focusing on the on the Eternia. Whew. Man. There's some more vintage Star Wars stuff right here. Ooh. Got a snaggle tooth there. Uh, a ba Boba Fett. Hmm. Boba Fett. And a Jow. Ooh. A Jow with a plastic cape. Look at that. On the card. Woo. Oh, there's a reissue My Pet Monster over there. And the box, too. Oh, there's a Teddy Ruxpin. And a, and a Franklin? Man, that My Pet Monster is pretty, pretty awesome. This guy has seen better days. But look at this fantastic diorama. Just this war scene in a church. It's fantastic. What battle is this, Kevin? I think it's the same. Yeah, we've got a. Anytime, anytime I have a, a World War II battle question, Kevin's my go to guy. That's <laughs> great. So this is Supernaturals on the card. Look at that. Look at that nice hologram. Uh, bag of Muscle Men. Ah, look at that. It's even got the Lionel Toy Store sticker still on it. Man, look at that. Two points of articulation in all of its glory. Oh man. It was a Smurf toy. Some vintage turtles and some gargoyles right here. There's a Ray Filet still on card. Ooh. Oh, what have I seen? Richard. Oh. Some GoBots. I had this one. I had this one. I had this one. I did not have this one. I didn't have Stinger, but I had Vamp, Tux, and Loco. Uh, Loco, not so subtly, uh, you know, obviously turned into a locomotive. Some advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Look at that second edition handbook right here. Where's a. Uh, never mind. Some old Hasbro Jake Snake. Honky Tonk, some Sectars, some Motu, and some Bucky O'Hare. Man, I'm very interested in one of these. Oh, not only are they on card, but look at that. That is an unpunched Gobot. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Man. That is pretty cool. So we, uh, we've got a cluster of uh, toy hunters here. 
in the uh, the hallway. Wow, oh, man, we sort of took over the hallway. We did, we did. Yeah, we're like everybody just kind of like tripping over everybody just in here. It's like the dance season. Yeah. I ran in a century and he's doing his little vlog. This is behind the scenes of the vlog. You'd see like him vlogging, me vlogging, him vlogging. All right, Richard, what'd you get? So, this has been a Mythic Legion on the list since even before I wanted to actually dive into Mythic Legions. Uh oh. Which one? Whoop. Let's, let's maneuver our way into the. This guy. Ooh. Which is essentially kind of like war. He has a horse he comes with, but I haven't been able to find it yet. Uh -oh. The day is the day is young. Yeah. We'll find stuff. No. Kevin Kevin bought something too. <laughs> We've just kind of been jumping around all willy nilly. Oh, I was out of focus for a second. Uh, we just kind of been jumping around all willy nilly uh, with no like plan of attack. Uh, but I think we're gonna try to change that. So we're gonna take it like room by room from now on. There's a Mirage Ninja Turtles. Those look cool. A giant man at arms. Droid C3PO. There's Darth Revan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting the um, the retro reissue. Yeah. Speaking of retro reissues or retro cards. A Punisher. Black ooh, the Black Widow is only twenty-six. Actually I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind getting that one. Black Panthers 37, 35 for Loki. Tiger the Wasp, 30. Iron Man 27. I already have an Iron Man. But that's the one I'm kinda really looking for out of this wave. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, when was the last time you saw that? And some Remco horror figures. A killer tomato figure. Look at that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen that either. Oh, there's Mr. Uh, Sid Haig right there. Mm -hmm. A giant Necromorph. Oh, some more Universal Monster Ninja Turtles. Oh, that's like the, I think that's the wave that's like super hard to find. Oh boy, look at that. Mikey is like super rare. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Nice Furby. Oh, what do my eyes see? A reissue. My pet monster, and it looks like the price tag on it is three fifty. How we doing? Doing well. How are you? That's much as I had this whole wave with the light up. Yeah. Oh, you will find it. Oh, the Oh, man. Yeah, I haven't seen those in quite a while. I, I even forgot those existed. Like Mikey had a cow. Mm-hmm. Hey, no photos, no photos. Oh, man, I heard, I, heard that, I, I heard that the guy who runs his booth wears his mom's underwear. Oh. What? Rodney, was that you? Oh, dude, I I'm making making a deal with Rodney right here. If I can if I can get a three count on him, that comes home with me. You ready? What you gonna do, brother? <laughs> uh, Masters, Jason the Wheel Warriors. Look at that. It's like a DC Super Friends. Very well. Beetlejuice. I had the. Um, the bed. Oh, yeah. The, the little uh, gray bed. Yeah. Interesting ball. Yeah. You have a firefly still in the box. Ooh, this tub of vintage turtles. I used to have this guy. 
And I used to have this fly. Actually, 10 bucks. That's not too shabby. I don't know who that is. Used to have this guy, Cowabunga Mike. The King of Rats. Ooh, these old McFarland Beatles yellow submarine figures. Oh, yeah. I used to have both sets of those. Because this is the Pepperland set. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah, so the oh there's the John Lennon with uh Jeremy. That's awesome. So I had the Ringo, but his head fell off. Oh no. So. What is uh only 25 bucks? That's pretty cool. The um a rat thing? Really? It's the same figure, but it has the archway that he stands in when he says good evening. Oh, interesting. That's the one I pointed out to you earlier. I used to have a whole bunch of those movie spawn figures. I had, I had a handful of those Dragon Ball Z figures too. Look at these. Vintage turtles. It's a vintage ad at. That's right. I said ad at. <laughs> Don't ad at me because I'm saying it correctly. Giant Mando and Grogu for six hundos. Oh boy. So I've, I've come to learn that at toy shows there's going to be a certain standards and things you're going to do. Yep. Now take a look inside this booth right here. Got some Halloween too. Oh, I think Richard was looking for this. Beetle. The fan. The was it? The something something Beetleborgs. Yeah, big bad, bad Beetleborgs. Big bad Beetleborgs. I remember Tierna Nog. I remember that was like that live action medieval Power Rangers thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I have the oh, look at the vintage Ghostbusters. And a nice little General Grievous. Yeah. And they have this there's a uh, Space Jam figures, yeah. like the OG Space Jam. Check out the Visionaries on card, and those are hard to find these days too. Mm -hmm. Man, I feel like I had this one. I had one. I can't remember which Everybody one. I feel like had I had that, that one. one. Or the blue one with the helmet. Yeah. Some Centurions. There's a GoBots something or another up there. Oh, that's the, uh, the car, yeah. So it's some Voltron up there. Spawn, some more Transformers. Get an Ultimate Warrior duffel bag. An Ultimate Warrior fanny pack. I think you should get that one, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, man. Corvette. Now, this is something because then you can find out who's spending all your money. <laughs> oh, look, it's me. <laughs> it was me the whole time. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is, but he looks pretty cool. Ah. Uh, bunch of vehicle Voltron pieces. So I remember getting that back in the day. And then I didn't realize that there were, I had to buy the rest of them, so I thought that was the whole robot for a while. See, X-Men was ahead of its time. They have a John Bond of John Boner. <laughs> <laughs> Old John Boner over here. Young me. Gruff. Oh, watch out for that guy. Oh, there you go. Some Swamp Thing figures. Where's Richard? He'll buy these. The Swamp Thing figures? Stripe and Gremlins. Oh. Hello there. I need this. Will I buy it? Probably not because uh, I'm a self destructive uh, collector. And I'll probably leave it and then later I'll come back to buy it and it'll be gone. That's what I do to myself. Zybots. Changeable robots. Not Transformers, not GoBots, but Zybots. Uh, Ursa Major. 
This is an old Toy Biz Sentinel and a Mr. T. There's an original Megazord and a Thunderzord right there. Look at all of the Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Oh, here's the uh, Walmart exclusive Sting from AEW. There's that two pack that I've been looking for. Although I don't need this guy anymore. I just need this guy. There was a man in Russia long ago. He was big and strong. <laughs> I do like this backpack. If it was a messenger bag, I'd probably probably get it. A giant She-Ra Princess of Power. Some She-Ra stuff from the Netflix show. That was a really good show. I really liked that one. I never saw these at retail though. These guys. Got some Muppet action over here. Gonzo and Fozzie. Rolf and Scooter. Yep. I like the Bunsen and Beaker right here. Oh, Mr. President, we will uh, go to the moon, not because it's easy, but because it's hard. Some old, yeah, yeah some Ninja Turtle. Do you think the gum is still good? Uh, if it's still actually intact, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> it's probably best one. <laughs> It's like one of those Power Stone trolls. Oh. Does this flight still work? And a Hulk Hogan? Probably not. Ugh. No. It doesn't have one. But. So usually it's either the arm. Yeah, his doesn't work. Either. Okay. There's a Mighty Max. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh, there's the McDonald Transformer toys right there. That's all. Buddy, this is like a whole bunch of gold yeah, in here. There's a Mumra. WWF wheelchair. <laughs> All right, we have been walking around for probably the better part of like three hours now, so I yeah. think we're going to go. Hey! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> what? You should have that checked out. <laughs> so uh, we're probably going to go and have a break, sit down in the lobby for a little bit. So we're going to do that, let the crowd die down a little bit, and then uh, go back and. Potentially spend some more money. Optimus Prime. Attack. Prepare for battle. Oh, that thing is so fun. How much was it? A thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a lot. Hey, Optimus Prime. Megatron. <laughs> I saw him dab a second ago. Like he did one of the one of those. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, I, all of a sudden, you know, I, I didn't. I just was gonna show this to a couple people. <laughs> hey, they have crime. Transform. <laughs> That's awesome. The Optimus Prime. Roll out. Roll out. Let's roll. Came back downstairs, and uh, the Super 7 stuff seems to be picked over. Glad I got that rock steady when I did. The Baxter Stockman. 40. It's tempting. All right. Well, I finally picked up something else today. I picked up one of these Mythic Legion Templar builders. So uh, I'm sure it'll be first of many, but second purchase of the day. Oh man, look at all of those comic cards. I had that whole set right there. I had that whole set. I had that whole set. This is just a video of me telling people on the internet what I used to have whenever I was a kid. Yeah. Harry and the Henderson set. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 
Yeah, the monkeys and the monsters. Rest in peace, Meg Nesbitt. Actually, Mickey, Mickey Dolan's, he's the only, he's the only one left. Yeah, he's the only one left. Yeah. It's the sound of a couple of full toy bags just <laughs> blowing in the wind. How's your toy landing going so far, Richard? So far, so good. A lot of good vendors, a lot of good options, a lot yeah. of good prices. And we've surprisingly... Bleh, bleh. Let me start that sentence over. We've surprisingly... Haven't spent much money. We we both spent about a hundred dollars, yeah. and I I think that's pretty good for considering oh, what. Yeah. Absolutely, considering what's here. Yeah. There was like one thing I was eyeballing that I went back for, and then it sold. So I don't have to spend that seventy five dollars, which I'm not necessarily mad at. So. So it goes. Just the name of the game. Sometimes. You snooze, you lose. And I, I snoozed not once, but twice. Third time, I lost it, man. It, it happens. I'm not mad at it. I'm sure I'll find something else to spend money yeah, on. That's what I was going to say. It just wasn't meant to be today. No. No. So we've done two or three laps so far. And we've met a lot of really cool uh, toy hunters. Uh, so a lot of the other... Uh, YouTube toy hunter guys, um, Big Dub. We've met Big Dub and hung out with him for a minute. He was very nice. Greg Cook was very nice. Kent Pool. We we chatted with him for a minute. And uh, Century, the Mag Collector. We were able to chat with him and briefly met uh, Seth from What's Poppin'. So uh, and also OG Geek. Yeah, we ran into OG Geek too. Like that that whole crew. Uh, and everybody has just been super nice. So if you're watching this video, uh, thank you for stopping and saying hey and then chat with us. You know, it's uh, it's always fun to not only like share the hobby, but just uh, meet other people in the community that also like enjoy the hobby and also have the the YouTube pages and whatnot. So um, community is really big. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you guys are watching, thanks for thanks for stopping and saying hey and then being in the video. So it's much appreciated. <laughs> yes, that yes. has actually like as soon as I can find the bomb and then all the background and everything. That blast effect looks really cool coming out of that Godzilla. Mm. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> And look at that original price tag, and then look at what it's going for now. Ooh. I've walked by this booth four times today, and this is the first time I noticed the giant ass sentinel sitting on the ground. Look at that. Here's Richard for scale. Look uh, <laughs> That's nuts. That's awesome. I wish I would have backed that. If I knew. If I knew how cool it was going to be, I wish I would have backed that. Mm -hmm. My first time seeing seeing this guy. This is giant. And thanks to the Also the Frankenstein's monster. That one doesn't look too shabby. He's pretty good. He's my favorite figure. Yeah. Oh, which which fiend do we have? We got black robe fiend. Annabelle. Stormtrooper of death. Oh. Is that the green? It's a uh, it's a Twilight Zone action figure. Yeah, it looks like the Grim. It's a Gremlin bobblehead. And we're back in the ghastly office. Toy Lanta was incredibly fun and exhausting because Richard and I had a full day of hunting the day before Toy Lanta. Didn't film any of that, but Richard made out like a bandit. Found a whole bunch of that Target Holothon stuff. The only thing I was looking for for the Holothon, and I didn't find it, so I'm going to go out hopefully later today and see if I can find it, is I'm just looking for the Demona figure. The Demona figure, and if I come across uh, any of the new Universal Monster stuff, I'm looking for the in-color versions 
of the Universal Monster stuff. So fingers crossed that that might be hitting the shelf soon. But really just looking for the Demona for this first round of Holothon stuff. Oh, and the Elvira. So we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. However, like I said, we had a full day of Toylanta and it was awesome. We lost Kevin halfway through the day. Uh, he's still alive, don't worry, <laughs> but uh, Kevin, Kevin decided just to dip out. He didn't uh, die. But yeah, he left, so it was just Richard and I for the second half of the day. Uh, Kevin, real quick, got, uh, what did he pick? He pick up, picked up a Star Wars Black Series Luke Skywalker figure. He picked up uh, a Marvel Legends Hydra Stomper and a Marvel Legends Captain Carter. So that was pretty awesome. Richard also picked up a Mythic Legions figure. I can't remember which one it was, but it was one of the, like, the big deluxe sets, and I think it's like their version of the Horsemen of War. I can't remember. I think his name is, the character's name is Aether. I'm not 100% sure. So for my haul portion of Toy Lanta, the first thing I picked up was the Super 7 Ultimate Rock Steady. There was a vendor downstairs, as you saw, selling a lot of these ultimates for $40 a piece, which is probably where retail should be, but I know a lot of vendors sell them for about 50 or 60 a piece. So $40, could not say no. This is the final Super 7 Ultimate piece I want for my Turtles collection, so had to get it, and it was the only one I saw. So, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> and it was the only one I saw. So it came home with me and it will be opened up and put on the shelf right behind me. Now, I just recently started to get into the Mythic Legions figures. I, I picked up the Krampus back in December and then I've since picked up a, a, a Wheatus figure and a Skeleton Legion Builder and the Tibius figure. I love these things uh, and I'm still trying to figure out how I want to go about collecting these things because they are a, a little bit higher price point. There are 40 to $50 to even 60 or $70 figures, but they're fantastic. The quality is great. The fact that you can pull them apart and customize them is something that I'm very into. And the big selling point for me were the skeletons and I guess that is kind of just the gateway because I purchased some stuff that weren't skeletons at Toylanta. And the first thing I picked up, and I've already opened them, and I put them back in the package just so I could show you, uh, and his sword actually fell out of the little slot, is just a Templar Legion Builder. And I like this because it's it's very, very reminiscent of the actual Knights Templar, so I, I or at least how they're, they're portrayed on screen and in lore and... You know, there's there's a lot of uh, debate, a uh, fact over fiction of like the actual Templars. Like scholars have written about this for decades, but I thought this was a pretty cool representation and how they were able to take the idea of the Knights Templar and pull them and put them into their their lore of mythos here. So I picked it up. It's really cool. It comes with a giant spear, like almost like a scimitar esque spear, and it comes with a sword and a giant flag. Uh, I love it. It was really cool. I, I wasn't going to get any of the knight stuff, but this was my this was my foray into the knight portion of Mythic Legions, and I love it. So, <laughs> which leads me to the third and final piece that I picked up at Toylanta. Uh, it is another knight. I was not expecting this uh, or to pick this up. the The long story short is I found the Mythic Legions figure called Purplore, which is the the not uh, Panthor from Masters of the Universe. And I saw it once, I said I want to get this. And I did another round, I came back, I saw it was still there, I said cool, I'm gonna go grab a snack real quick. I went to go grab a snack and a drink to refuel, I came back, and somebody got it. And I, I should know better. I, sh I, I know what you're thinking, you're yelling at your screen right now, you should have got it when, or I should have got it when I saw it, and the answer is yes. You are correct. Uh, I am awful, and I do this all the time to myself, <laughs> so, uh, I was really bummed that I missed out on the pan or the purple or figure, so I was, I, I, went, I was like, I'm gonna spite buy something, and then I found this guy, which is the Sir Gerard character, 
and I wasn't going to get this one. I didn't realize he uh, came with a separate head. And he came with a skeleton head, and I thought, oh, that looks really cool. And then the person who I bought it from on, uh, she's on Instagram as Nikki Nicole Customs. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, she opened one up and showed me the skeleton head, and I got a chance to like mess around with it. And that's what really sold me. So, Nikki, thank you so much for this. I love this figure. It's fantastic. And that is just one more figure I can put in my Mythic Legions, uh, Legion, I guess. Anyway, that was the haul for the Toy Lanta weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Again, you could watch any video on YouTube, and I'm just really happy you chose to use your time to watch this one. You could have gone anywhere, but you watched this one, and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. See you real soon. Stay spooky.